Good evening guys, my name is Henry Parsons and welcome to Fab Frogs, our first episode on the series. Over the next month we're going to be looking at different frogs and toads and, and the like and different amphibians particularly. Um, as you can hear in the background we've got some painted reed frogs calling. We're at uh, Karongwe Nature Reserve and uh, we're at one of the ponds and there's a, a plethora of, of frogs behind us. So we're going to see if we can find some this evening. So frogs, they love the water. Very aquatic, spend most and all of their, almost all of their time in the water versus toads, which are more terrestrial, living on the land, spends most of their time on the land, but they can go into the water. The reason they go into the water is toads also lay their eggs in the water, but they lay strings of eggs versus little clumps of eggs if it's frogs. Frogs have got smooth skins and quite moist com compared to your, your toads that's got a rougher um, skin, um, helps them lose less moisture. We're going to go out into this pan and see if we can actually find some of these painted reed frogs. As Marie is following me through this wonderful little pan, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the ecological role of frogs. So frogs and toads are obviously important in controlling some of the parasite numbers, so feeding on mosquito larvae and the like, but they're also an important food source. From the eggs in the water eaten by fish and, and other um, aquatic um, animals uh, that live in the water, insects um, as well as birds, uh, and then once the adults, fee, uh, fish will, can feed on the adults, um, kingfishers will, will feed on some of the frogs, um, herons, etc. So they play quite an important role um, in our ecological system. They're also very good indicators of the health of our ecosystem. So if you've got a, 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 a healthy ecosystem, abundant um, frog and toad um, life in, in your environment, if those numbers are waning, that's a very good indicator that you've got a problem somewhere within your greater ecological system. Ah, oh, guys, look at this. <laughs> How wonderful. We finally found a frog. He's only about three centimeters big. Can you see how small he is? It's called a painted reed frog. These guys are incredible. Their patterns are so, so variable. Their colorations vary depending on the area, their distribution, all of those things come into play. So they don't all have this specific pattern. Can you guys see how he's breathing? Very distinctive calls that you can still hear in the background. Their calls are this little short, high-pitched, explosive whip-whip sound. Some males will even come out to the same site every evening. And that's their little site where they call from and they advertise. That's how they find the females. Guys, it's been so much fun looking for these frogs. And uh, luckily we eventually found at least one to look at. Um, it's been fabulous. I look forward to reading your comments uh, below and uh, exploring some, some more frogs in the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, follow our channel. Um, and let us know if there's anything else that you are keen or interested in knowing. Have a great day.